Hello, hello everyone. Good day to you. I warmly welcome you back to this edition of Our Positive Word. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me. I'm returning today with the part two of the last discussions we had, relationship, not religion. So instead of having religion, practicing religion, we should endeavor, strive to have a relationship with God. That is what the Lord wants us to have with him, not follow religion. You know, in the past, I used to not agree, I used to really, really disagree when people would say that religion has done more harm than good to the world. Right now, I can safely say and confidently say that my mind has shifted and I totally agree with that saying. Religion has done nothing but grave harm to the world. It's got nothing good to offer to the world. That is why as the world continues to practice and follow religion, things continue to deteriorate. Nothing seems to improve or work. In fact, the more people continue to identify with religions without having their own personal intimacy with the one true God, the more harm will be done to the world and more people will be led astray into a lost eternity in hell. Religion, on the long run, is eternal damnation. We are told... I'm going to be sharing some verses of scriptures. We are told in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, My grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. Only a God who cares will supply you with grace and strength in your place and time of weakness. Religion can't do that. Any true religion should produce the right relationship or connection with God. God seeks to support us, to help us, to live life according to how he wants us to live. We do not belong to ourselves. Yes, we're free. We've got our free will to choose. But that doesn't mean we belong to ourselves. God is the ultimate and he just wants us to have a relationship with him and enter into the goodness that he has in store for us. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, we're told no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. If we can grasp a little bit of what God has in store for us, we will denounce all forms and appearances of religions to seek him. In that relationship with God, he has the most incredible things planned for us. But we have to come into relationship with him. Only those who are in relationship with him can begin to see a bit of that and will enter into it eventually at the end of this life. In relationship, we are invited by God. As we're told in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be like wool. We're also invited by Jesus in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all who are labored and burdened, and I will give you rest. Christ invites us to come with whatever we have got, whether good or bad, so that he can fix us into what he wants us to be. But religion says no. Stay out, keep your troubles, so that you can continue to suffer to pay by yourself. It is extremely painful and sad to see so many billions who are lost to the delusions of religion. It makes people think that so, that through their own power, one day they would correct their wrongs and enter into the kingdom of God. 
how wrong can a person be? Only a personal bond through surrender of one's life can anybody enter God's kingdom. It is the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus which was shared that will cover our sins and grant us the path to eternal life. God welcomes us to boldly enter into his presence. But religion keeps us outside where it dictates what people do and how they should do it. Jesus is, Christ is not a religion. He is the savior. He is the one who hooks us up with God. We go through him and we get to the father. My dear friend, are you not fed up with all those religious activities that have added no value to your life? Take a look at how millions are attacking others based on what their religious beliefs instruct them to do. They do these things in the name of whatever thing they worship. That's religion. In other situations, we have mere mortals, men and women who parade themselves that they're speaking on behalf of God. They have all the grand titles. The only fact is that they scam, deceive and enslave others who are gullible enough to believe them. That is what you get with religion. All things fake, false, deceptive, oppressive and wicked. That's religion in a nutshell. There is a humongous difference between religion and relationship with Christ Jesus. He is the one whom the world is resisting. Hence, religion was invented to lure people away from him. If you can go to God for yourself, you will discover the shocking truth about the falsehood of religion. When you enter into a relationship with our Heavenly Father, you will begin to live a completely robust life in all areas. You will no longer be deceived. You will see others through his eyes and interact with them with pure love, compassion, honesty, and patience. All of those religions in the world can never offer anything except a set of rules that you have to follow and get punished for ignoring them. It was because of this relationship that God sent his son to take our place of punishment for our sins so that we can have abundant life in Christ Jesus. Are you prepared to give up religion for a relationship with God? Wait no longer because time is running out. God may help May God help all who are trapped in one religious prison or the other so that they will be released as they open up their hearts and lives to enter into personal relationships with him. My dear friend, are you having a relationship with God or are you just practicing religion? God bless you.